Good morning! So, today, on the vlog, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about nutrition. Nutrition is one of the most asked questions that we get on a regular basis. How do you eat? What do you eat? How do you feel your training? What are you doing on a rest day? So that actually is what we're gonna show you today. I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating and show you exactly what I do on a rest day leading into the CrossFit Open. Let's get started. The first thing I always start with is my cup of coffee. I know that I'm actually really rested. My sleep score and my eight sleep was a 99% last night, meaning that I slept really hard. I got a lot of deep sleep and my heart rate is coming down, so that's a good sign. But I wanna make sure I take that recovery I got from my sleep last night and continue that into my recovery day. So I'm gonna start sipping my coffee with Milo, show you guys my breakfast, head to the gym, do a 60 minute zone two workout, followed by coaching and some lunch. In my coffee, literally every single morning, I start with either a Formula One protein or a collagen. This morning I chose to start with a collagen. So I do two shots of espresso, sometimes run it through twice, so it's like three. Then I add steamed water with one tablespoon, which was 15 milliliters of heavy cream. And I do weigh that out on the scale, followed by one scoop of first form collagen. That stuff is linked below. It's the best. It mixes right into your coffee and it makes it taste delicious. So I no longer have to add unhealthy, creamers or sweeteners or things like that to make my coffee taste delicious. Next, I'm gonna have my breakfast. Today's breakfast is about 500 calories, maybe slightly less than when I'm training. And a lot of times when I'm training, I'll just put a second English muffin so it's closer to 600 calories and I have a little bit more carbs. I know that my ses session isn't gonna be as long. It's only gonna be about 60 minutes. It's gonna be super moderate just to sweat, feel good, get some really good blood flow. So I'm not loading carbs up front as much. So this is my breakfast. I love these egg scrambles. I like to get veggies in in the morning. I like to take my time and cook my breakfast in the morning because sometimes that's my time. And then once the day gets going, sometimes things can just kind of take off and I'm just eating to make sure I'm fueling the way I can. So it's kind of mine and Milo's time to just set our tone and set kind of our mental space and everything for the day. And so now I'm gonna dive in because it smells delicious. I'm off to the gym, so I'm gonna take one scoop of protein. I always take protein even on my recovery day because usually if I don't, I can't hit my protein goals or I have a hard time. So I've got one scoop of Formula One loop de fruit. Formula One is my absolute favorite. And then normally on training days, I do a full scoop of ignition. On recovery days, I do about a half. About a half scoop of ignition. And then I'm also gonna take an apple. That'll get me to lunch. and I'm hungry and cold. I just finished coaching 12-15 class. I got my 60 minutes of zone two in. I downed my shake, I ate my apple, and now I'm heading home to eat lunch because I'm starving. It's 1.50 here in Columbus, Ohio. That was a pretty typical rest day morning for me. So now we're gonna go home and have lunch and take you through the rest of the day. Whoa! A lot of people ask me about rest day and I think it's something that I used to kind of misinterpret as well until I started working with Mike from MG Performance and I used to think I needed to cut my calories on rest day and that's definitely not what you want to be doing because we want to be recovering. So especially when the open workouts are coming next week, I want to make sure that I'm fueling really well and I'm recovering from all of the work that I've done and I'm not hindering myself by putting myself in a caloric deficit on days that my muscles need that food and need the fuel to be recovering. So I think it's just getting out of this mentality that less is better and understanding that we have to fuel ourselves properly in order to be able to recover properly. 
And I just, I see that a lot in the gym as well as like people are just cutting calories left and right because they think if they cut calories, they're gonna lean out. And that's not always the case. We look lean when we have lots of good muscle definition. And if we're fueling ourselves the way we need to be, then we're gonna be able to build that muscle definition. It's just, we look leaner when we eat well and we're not eating a bunch of crap. So don't cut your calories on rest day. All right, just got home from the gym. Pat's having lunch and I'm about to have lunch as well. So what I've got for lunch today is 160 grams of jasmine rice, about 75 grams of steamed broccoli, four ounces of 93.7 cooked ground turkey. I always measure my protein cooked and then about 29 grams of avocado. So I'm gonna sprinkle some hot sauce on top to give it a little flavor, but here's my meal. I don't know about you guys, but I like things that taste good, and two of my favorite things are peanut butter and bananas, and definitely together. Not gonna eat it. <laughs> he only likes cooked broccoli. <laughs> okay, so for dinner, I had quite a bit of food left over, but the only thing I think I didn't show, or I might have showed, was the apple that I ate. But for dinner, we're gonna have four ounces of cooked beef. It's super important that you log it as cooked and it's 92.8. Then from there, I've got about 36 grams of avocado. I have, I gotta look, 50 grams of asparagus, 75 grams of broccoli, about a half of a red bell pepper, 107 grams of baked sweet potato, and an English muffin. So all in all, after that is all said and done, I'm also gonna have two caramel rice cakes before I go to bed tonight. And once I have these two rice cakes, my total food for my rest day is 2,155 calories. I'm at 279 grams of carbohydrates, 59 grams of fat, and 141 grams of protein. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in one tablespoon of semi-sweet Toll House chocolate chips because I can tell that I'm craving them and I want them and I have a little bit left. So that'll be another 70 calories. So all in all, that'll get me to 2,225 calories for today's day ending with 288 grams of carbs, 63 grams of fat, and 141 grams of protein. So even though I didn't work out super hard, I didn't cut my calories. I'm right where I need to be. I got my protein in. I almost hit 300 grams of carbs, and my fats are between that 60 and 65, which is where I feel really good. I think it's super important for you guys to realize that you should not be cutting calories on a rest day because a rest day needs to be viewed as a way to recover, so that way you can hit training hard tomorrow. If I put myself in a deficit today, my muscles are not gonna recover from the work that I've done and I'm gonna have a hard time waking up tomorrow I might not sleep all well night I wake up tomorrow and I still feel tired it's probably because I under ate on my rest or my recovery day come on come on come on oh my buddy it always falls over wet hi can you sit can you sit this usually doesn't go so well you want down okay all right so I am satiated, and now I'm gonna spend the rest of the night just hanging out with Milo, taking care of my body, scraping my muscles, prepping for what's to come tomorrow so I feel recovered and ready to hit training hard. If you guys like the vlog style, make sure you drop that below in the comments. We can try to bring more vlog style videos, maybe take you along with me, show you more Milo, whatever I eat, however I train, whatever else you wanna see. So I would love to hear that in the comments. Have a great night, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See